Hello, this is Mr. Neil Ryderter, consultant audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in uh, another demonstration video of our recently developed Waxcope. Uh, the Waxcope is due to be launched early autumn 2022. So if you are interested, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. So we had a client here attend with bilateral fully occluding earwax and we're using I believe the 4.25 millimeter speculum to dilate the ear canal open. So they have got quite a narrow entrance. And you can see there, we've just got the wax and dry skin plugs in focus. You can see there's some peripheral dead skin. So we've just got the main body of wax a bit further in, in focus. And so with the wax scope, it doesn't utilize uh, binocular vision which is which is a one method of obtaining depth perception and that's because similarly to our eye clear scope endoscope we're viewing um, the image on a, a 2d screen however um, depth perception is still available with um, the wax scope because you're actually essentially using the focus as a means of um, obtaining depth perception it's a, a i often hear it um that you're not able to put, to obtain depth perception unless you're using binocular stereoscopic vision, but that's not true. If you watch um, my procedures with the uh, at the endoscope, which is a two D view, we're not using binocular vision. Uh, um, you 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 can get depth perception using monocular cues as well, um, using shadows, um, landmarks in the ear. Uh, another uh, feature called motion parallax. So. When you're moving the instrument forward and backwards, um, you can, by the relative speed and change of where you are in the ear, that gives you depth perception. But quite simply, with the wax scope, you get the you get the the object in focus, and when you're in focus, you've got your depth. So it's quite straightforward in that respect. So this is a, a bit more of a stubborn plug of wax. You can see it's a bit darker, it's a bit deeper. We just managed to draw that out, put a bit of oil in there as well. It's still got a bit more actually. So at the moment you can see it's not in focus. So we're just going to adjust that. It's now in focus and for that reason, when the instrument's also in focus, we know we're at the right depth. So as I said, you can obtain depth perception using 2D monocular vision as well. And you can see the eardrum in the distance. So as I said, the entrance of the ear is a bit narrow. It's peripheral skin. I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to get this bit of wax on the canal wall. Uh, so I've just got that in focus. I'm using a fine end suction probe. So as soon as it's in focus, as again, we know we're in the right place. And this is a bit further in. I'm just angling the speculum. So that's on the anterior canal wall. So we're now going to change focus. You can see the eardrum there. Nice and healthy. Got a good view. And that's the patient's right ear. So is the wax coat more beneficial than head loops? Um, I suppose you'll have to make that judgment by watching the video. So if you visit our Clear Wax YouTube channel, we've got a host of videos already with the wax scope. And I used uh, head loops many, many moons ago prior to developing the uh, endoscope, the iClear scope. And I really struggled with the wax that was deeper in the ear, more medial. Struggled with the focus as well. Um, struggled with magnification. Um, but as I said, um, what you're seeing on screen now is, is actually, what you see is what you get. So uh, these videos are exactly what I see on screen. Now, you can't compare the wax scope to an endoscope. Uh, an endoscope, if you watch my other YouTube channel, you'll just see the difference in the view, the, the field of view. I would say the wax scope, in terms of the magnification and clarity and zoom, it's actually probably a bit superior than an endoscope. Um, I would put uh, the wax scope similar to, I've got an ENT microscope at the clinic myself, and it provides a very similar view, from truth be told, in terms of magnification and clarity. Um, so the wax scope is designed to be the next best thing if you struggle to use an endoscope. Because a few people do struggle to use an endoscope because of the bilateral integration. So your right hand, left hand working coordination. So just going to get the eardrum in focus. There we are. So again, nice and healthy left ear. 
and the patient's now to him now. So I hope you enjoyed that video and as mentioned if you are interested to learn more about the wax scope and be added to our mailing list please email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you, bye.